Hey folks, it's IOE Thermal, and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Deadly Smurf. He's in his IS-3. This is a tier 8 game. Wait, tier 8 game? Wow. <laughs> Live Oaks. How do you manage to get a tier 8 game in your tier 8 tank? I. This is a mystery that will always confound me, because that's almost never happened to me. <laughs> um, of course... It's almost never happened to most of us, so, I mean, there's that, right? Okay, so, before we get too far into this game, I do want to say, um, I have been trying to raise some awareness for a friend of mine, uh, Extreme Unicorn Warfare this week, and so I'm going to try and remember to put his, uh, the thing in, in the description, but we're raising a little bit of money for him, um, He's got an autoimmune disease, and every other day he spends a day in the hospital. And that sucks, just for dialysis. Um, and so, World Tanks is the thing that takes his mind off it. So, this month, I'm going to try and get him something nice. Um, you know, for Christmas and whatnot, right? So, I've, I've kicked in the first 30 bucks, and if anyone else can kick in just a little bit more, that'd be great. If they can't, just leave a comment, tell them how much you love them, you know, how much you support them, that sort of thing, right? He has been around us for a while, and he's been saying us amazing games for a while, so. Okay, thanks, enough about that. Um, so apparently we're the only ones in the city. <laughs> the SU is making the run. The two twins are going to sit way back here, and, I mean, that's that's great. Like, no one else is in here. Our super pushing is over on the bridge, so... This should be an interesting game. Deadly's yelling for help, but I don't think he's going to get it. Jeez. Well, he has spotted an enemy, but, um... Well, it's only a tier 6, so there's that. Oh, not the first one across the way. And so the SU picks up the shot from somebody. And we're just going to ram him to death, I'm sure. Lolo does get a shot into our side, though. And now, this is going to be a little bit more interesting now. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure he can sit there and shoot from if he wanted to. But he's actually going to push up to this building and look for to side scrape off. Okay, I mean, if the VK is just going to sit there, we're just going to shoot him and manage to get the nice ammo rack and killing him in a rather ni nice location. So he's there's going to be some trouble getting some backup from these, for these guys. Though they're side scraping like we're trying to side scrape and their artillery is on point. Then again, apparently so is ours, so that's good. Looking for the Lord Glacius logo, finds it and does get a great shot in. Looking to, I mean, I guess the logo is, I don't know what the logo is trying to do to be honest. He's backed it so far at this point in time. He is no longer <laughs> doing anything helpful. And so now, I mean, I guess he was trying to circle us. Because, I mean, that's kind of what he did. But, man, this artillery fire is getting annoying. But that's about the only thing it's doing. It's just annoying. It's not really deadly. Oh, yeah, there we go. Taking out the low. That is all the enemy resistance just been taken care of. Assuming we don't get hit by any more enemy artillery fire, we should be good for a little while. Unfortunately though, our base is not good. And we have, we're being overrun, is, is the short and sweet of it. Um, I don't know how, considering how little I end up up here focusing on the city. Apparently we're just going to get overrun anywhere everywhere else, so whatever. Let's, um, Speed this up as we zip back across. Um, I highly doubt anything's going to happen until we get beyond this hill and into battle with this E25. We're not even lit. Never mind getting shot at. Though our team is starting to go down one by one by one. We are left with two artillery, an SU, and well, us against half of the enemy team. Now, mind you, that's still three artillery, so there's still a lot of artillery pressure. Um, there isn't, however, a lot of tanks. 
so that could hopefully work in our favor. Hey, who are you and when do you... <laughs> okay, even LC wants to die. I mean, though he did light up both of our artillery, so if they're not careful and they're not playing this... Yeah, they are paying attention, thankfully. So, looks like neither of them got dunked, unfortunately. T-50-2. Though, he seems so sad in one spot long enough that our artillery could get a bead on him. I am, yeah, I'm a fixed camera. So, deadly snipe that in auto aim from this far away. <laughs> okay. But, the SU, uh, uh, SU-100 M1 finishes the job. And the Hellcat is dead. With only the Dicker Max and the T25 Dash 2 to worry about over here. There isn't too much that can do us re real serious damage. Obviously, artillery, but I mean, artillery is still just like nickel and diming us. And Dicker Max obviously doesn't know what he's walking into. Gets killed before he's even spotted us. And we're good. At this point in time, the only thing to do is to drive straight at the T25. Or unless he's going to come to you, of course. In which case, that's going to help a lot. <laughs> oh! As the Hummel bounces one, and both artillerys drop one on either side of us, we get out of this scotch free. <laughs> Dudley does say he would like to go and kill their artillery. And I think he's going to get the opportunity now. Um, as the only thing that's left on the board is the artillery. <laughs> he's he really upset. <laughs> uh, the SU-100 is pushing down the other side of the map. They have eight kills between the two of them. And there are only three tanks left. Unfortunately, one more person... Um, and this would be a crucial contribution if they platooned up. Um, actually, they're they're teaming up for the Brothers in Arms. So now, oops, look at that. I didn't expect both artillery. All three artillery are right here. Just aiming all the way in, firing, killing the homo before the homo can fire back. And we only have one round of HE left. So, Deadly is telling the uh, SU to hurry up M44 fires M44 is going to keep moving by the looks of it we're coming over the ridge we should be focusing on the M12 we're not and just tags out the M44 okay so now you got your rattling Walters you gotta this SU's gotta get over here so you can take out the M12 um because otherwise, there's no, not going to be any brothers in arms. We don't know where the M12 is. I mean, he's got to be right here somewhere, right? Well, yep, there he is. He's all set up and waiting for the SU. Just come over this ridge and kill him. And then secure our brothers in arms. Oh no, he's gonna go drown himself. Oh no, 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 <laughs> we're not. Unfortunately, it does take out the brothers in arms possibility, but I mean, letting it an artillery drown himself, it's, it's never gonna happen, right? Okay, let's go see what he got for all this. Mastery badge, ace tanker, yeah, hand of god, bruiser, demo expert, duelist, fire for effect, 12 bonds. A Radley Walters, a Demetrius medal, high caliber, and top gun. The Demetrius is for taking out three SPGs in one battle. Um, wow. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was a lot. Uh, so that was 1300 base experience. I hope that, you know, helps you uh, get through your day. <laughs> wow, great job. Four damage to allies. When did we cause... When were we near enough to an ally to cause damage? It must have been like the start of the game. Okay. 
And then only a little bit of damage blocked by armor. Two shots, in fact, did not go through. I don't remember who they're from. One was from the Hummel. Oh, and one was from the Ti... Oh, no. 225 and Tiger both managed to, to bounce shots off of us. Though our return shot did not bounce off either of them. Well done, sir. This was a great game. I uh, I enjoyed watching it. He made a ton of cash on this. To say the fact that he fired no gold this entire game. Which is nice to see from a top tier heavy for a change. And uh, just a great job all around. Thank you so much for saying this in, Deadly. I, uh, I really enjoy watching it. And thank you all for watching. Please do ch check out the donation link for Xtreme at the bottom. Even so much as a dollar will help. Um, if I get another, I think, $9 or $10, uh, we can buy him some decent, a decent amount of Christmas boxes, which is something he has expressed he really wants. So, anyways, I'll leave it up to you guys, and we'll go from there. Again, if you don't have any cash, feel free to just comment. Tell him how much he, he's meant to the community, because he has meant a lot to us. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This IOE thread.